Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In the dynamic realm of military aviation, the Turkish Aerospace Industries, TAI, T-129 stands out as a testament to innovation and collaboration. Jointly developed by Augusta Westland of Italy and TAI of Turkey, the T-129 lightweight attack helicopter represents a significant milestone in Turkey's quest for a versatile and powerful rotorcraft to meet the demands of modern warfare. The genesis of the T-129 program dates back to 2007 when Augusta Westland and TAI entered into a contract to develop a new attack and reconnaissance helicopter for the Turkish Armed Forces. The agreement included the construction of five prototypes in Italy by Augusta Westland and two prototypes in Turkey by TAI. Initially, 51 helicopters were ordered with an option for an additional 40, showcasing Turkey's commitment to bolstering its aerial capabilities. One of the distinctive features of the T-129 program is Turkey's full ownership of marketing and intellectual property rights, underscoring the nation's aspirations for self-reliance and technological prowess in the defense sector. The first flight of the Italian prototype took place in 2009, followed by the maiden flight of the Turkish prototype in 2011. Subsequently, operational helicopters were delivered to the Turkish army in 2013, marking the commencement of its service. The T-129 made its combat debut in 2018 during Turkey's military operations in Syria against Kurdish forces. Despite encountering challenges, including the loss of at least one helicopter, the T-129 demonstrated its capability to operate in hostile environments and support ground troops effectively. With a total of 53 helicopters delivered by 2019, the T-129 has become a vital asset in Turkey's arsenal, particularly as aging AH-1 Cobra and AH-1W Super Cobra helicopters are phased out and replaced. At the heart of the T-129's prowess lies its adaptation from the Italian A-129 Mangusta, customized to meet Turkish specifications. Assembled in Turkey, the T-129 incorporates indigenous high-tech avionics, weapon systems, and self-protection suites, tailored for operations in hot climates and high altitudes. Upgraded engines, transmission, and rotor blades further enhance its performance and reliability. Despite its compact size, the T-129 packs a formidable punch. Powered by LTEC CTS 800-4N engines, manufactured in Turkey under license, it boasts agility and maneuverability comparable to larger counterparts. Equipped with a nose turret-mounted 20mm three-barrel cannon, the T-129 can also carry Stinger air-to-air -air missiles or unguided rockets, providing versatility in combat scenarios. The evolution of the T-129 continues with variants such as the T-129A and T-129B. The T-129A, akin to the Italian A-129 CBT, serves as an initial production model, while the T-129B represents an improved version capable of carrying UMTA's advanced anti-tank guided missiles. This enhancement underscores Turkey's commitment to equipping its armed forces with cutting-edge technology and firepower. In conclusion, the T-129 lightweight attack helicopter embodies the synergy of international collaboration and indigenous innovation. With its combat-proven capabilities and ongoing development initiatives, it stands poised to play a pivotal role in Turkey's defense strategy and serve as a symbol of excellence in modern rotorcraft engineering. As it continues to evolve and adapt to emerging threats, the T-129 remains a formidable force multiplier on the battlefield, safeguarding Turkey's security and sovereignty for years to come. That's all for now. See you later.